Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is get local currency symbol slash code? Let me run our example and nothing's going to happen. I'm going to get back 0.99. And if I go a couple more times, it's still going to return 0.99. Why is that? Well, our get local currency symbol node returns back the symbol associated with the device's local locale. So for example, in the US United States, this would return back the dollar symbol. In the United Kingdom, this would return back the pound symbol. The currency code returns back the currency code. It's a standard. For example, it would be USD or maybe GP, GBP or EUR. It just depends on where you're currently at. Now, the reason this didn't give us an actual result that we expected is the way the platform code works is you have a generic platform fallback. This is what happens and gives, this is the result you'll get back if it is not implemented on the current platform. Now if we type in currency, we're going to find back that, well, it is not implemented by default and it just returns back a blank string. That's fine. That's what we expect. If we go back and look at all the other code, well, we'll find that it is only currently implemented on the iOS platform right here. And the iOS platform will return back the valid results. So as of now, as of 4.14, you can use these nodes, but you're only going to get back valid results on the iOS platform. And you might want to use this, for example, for in-app purchases. You might want to show that it's going to be 0.99 US dollars, or maybe, for example, 0.79 British pounds. Just depends on if you want to display a properly formatted currency, which I believe is a requirement from Apple. So that's what these nodes are for, to give you properly formatted symbols and codes for the currency of the local platform. And as of now, it is only supported on iOS. And that's it. That's going to wrap up our Git local currency code and symbol notes.